Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and I am with the legend John Waltham, who is a volunteer helper during the Jabbit Fund of 1953. And John's going to give us his exclusive story of his story of the Jabbit Club. And um, this is a picture of them. And this is the pump house in Jabbit next to the scout hall. And John's going to explain a lot more about it. And uh, Sandra's going to see it too. And this is John, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm Danny, and he needs a medal just for putting up with me. But he knows I love Jamie, and I know John does. So without further ado, uh, we're going to pass you over to John, who's going to tell us his side of the Jamie flood, as John was a volunteer helper. Over to you, John, and thank you for your time. You're welcome. Bless you. Right, 53 floods. I was 19 years old at the time, working at, at Frinton on Sea, and as the flood happened on the Saturday night, I didn't have to go to work on the Sunday, on the Monday morning, I left home to go to Frinton where I worked and could only get as far as the sluice gates at Holland Haven. I knew I'd got my sandwiches and flask and one thing and another with me, so I thought, right, I'll go down and see what all this trouble is at Jaywick. So I cycled down to Jaywick, got to the three J's or crossways corner where the um, where the people were was the centre of uh, centre of um, action, really. Yeah. So, like where all the emergency uh, services gathered. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Cam um, Constable Mitchell was there, coordinating the whole thing, and several other people. I was asked if I would like to go with a group of, of two other people into a small rowing boat and go to these certain houses where. They had been alerted that people were there, although not necessarily alive. The whole thing really was made easier, if you could even even mention anything being easier, by the fact that the milkman, the local milkman, had a day-to-day -day delivery, except for the Sunday obviously, but had a day-to-day -day delivery of milk, and he knew the majority of the people who were in Jaywick at that time by his milk round. That book was given to the um, Constable Mitchell who looked at that and coordinated the rescues then. Bearing in mind also as well, we think that Jaywick was totally flooded. Well, Jaywick wasn't totally flooded. The flooded area was between Gulf Green Road and Meadow Way, going right the way down to the tower in Belsize Avenue, the Martello Tower in Belsize Avenue. That was the flooded area and that was where most people were drowned in the valley of the little river that goes from the golf club right the way through to the Martello Tower. That was where 35 people were drowned. There were two, in, two drowned in, in uh, Triumph Way and 33 were drowned around the area of Meadow Way. So I had this task of going with two other people in this rowing boat and we were going to the houses that had been recognised where people were there. Brooklyn's had water and had a lot of devastation there but the, most of the people there had a chance to go into their roofs bearing in mind it wasn't a holiday area, it wasn't a holiday time so there were fewer people about than what there is today. And uh, we went round to these different houses and put in these poor old ladies that were still stuck to the ceiling or up onto the ceiling in their night clothes, bedridden people that were bedridden. So sad. Yeah. So sad. Bless you for like helping and yeah, having and, the, the uh, dignity they deserved. And, and we picked these people up 